Hi guys, today we are going to talk about a rather interesting subject for the people of today's world and that is about hypocrites. Yes, talking about Bhagavad Gita, we are going to judge a few section of people in the world. Now hypocrites simply translated into English are nothing but people who say one thing and do completely the opposite. Sounds like we have a lot of such people around us, right? Now, when we talk about hypocrites, there are three main types of hypocrites. We can categorize them into three parts. One is the traditional hypocrites. Second is the situational hypocrites. And third is the experienced hypocrites. Now, these three are in many ways the normal hypocrites that we see around us on a day-to-day -day basis. But the worst of all these three is the traditional hypocrites. Now, these are the people that we see in our day-to-day -day life and we just cannot stand them at all. Because they say one thing all right and then they do exactly the opposite in so many ways that might irritate us to our very core. And I'll give you a very small example for that. Take a look at the social media we have today. So many people advise on so many issues and maybe they might even use the word that is so common in social media today such as trolling or roasting other celebrities or other people for their acts. But if we place a secret camera in their life, they would do exactly the same thing that they said that a person should not do in front of people. So simply if we take it, they are just talking for the stage and they really do not mean what they talk. And you would be surprised how many young people like me are coming out of social media because of the toxicity that the platform generates through such kind of hypocritical people. Now in the Bhagavad Gita, it says that hypocrites are the biggest losers in this entire world mainly because they are committing a sin far greater than any other human being and that is they are lying to themselves. At least in any other case, you are lying to an external individual which at least can be forgiven. But lying to yourself is the gravest sin that a person can commit and that is exactly what hypocrites do. Now coming to the second section of hypocrites, these are known as the situational hypocrites. These people are people who are confident about their capabilities and their abilities, but there is something little bit that they need to do extra in order to reach a stage of bliss. The perfect example is someone like Arjuna. He's like almost a fine tuned machine. There are only certain aspects of him that needs to be cured in order for him to achieve a state of success. Now, there are many people like that in the world today. They know what is wrong and what is right, but they don't realize what is wrong and what is right. And that realization will come only when they start doing things one by one, they would stop being hypocrites. Now, these situational hypocrites are much, much more better than the traditional ones were completely toxic. Now last but not least, we have the experienced hypocrites. This idea of experienced hypocrites came from an old Tamil movie that my dad showed me where a person who says that they should not do a particular thing doesn't necessarily mean that they are not doing it. Just because a person is doing something wrong, they want to say something so that the other person does not commit the same mistake that one did. I'll give you a very small example for that. Take someone like a smoker or an alcoholic or any addict for, that, for an example. They do a lot of wrong things, get addicted to bad habits. But they would always advise a young and up and coming boy or girl not to follow that. Now it is not because of some random thing where we can say that you are doing it, how can you say that to me? They are saying that because if they had not done that at the young age, they wouldn't be an addict at the age of 35 or 40. With that mindset is the sole reason why they are saying the young minds not to be following them. But these in some generic definition, we can call them hypocrites, but they really just want to promote goodwill to the people. Now, in the Bhagavad Gita, there is one small statement that says, if we take a look at every object that is present in the universe, we should not 
or look at them as mere possessions that we need to attain but just as objects of the manifestation now this understanding and following is a man of divinity not a person of understanding and just blurting in front of the camera or just blurting in front of a group of people those are hypocrites and that is the central theme of these two verses in the Bhagavad Gita. Now that's a wrap for this particular episode. Do give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, thank you for watching. And until the next episode, it is goodbye.